When done the wrong way, journaling can actually harm our mental health. Journaling is often seen as a helpful way to sort through our thoughts and feelings, especially during tough times or moments of uncertainty. It gives us a safe place to express ourselves and find clarity, which is an effective form of self-care. But like anything, there's a flip side to journaling that we need to be aware of. Let's explore the dark side of journaling and five powerful strategies to overcome it. Getting stuck inside your journal. It's important to find a balance and not let journaling consume you. Some people get so absorbed in journaling that it takes over their lives. A notable example is Robert Shields, who journaled about every 5 minute interval of his life for 25 years, producing 37.5 million words. He spent 4 hours a day recording his temperature, blood pressure, medications, urination, and bowel movements and slept 2 hours at a time to document his dreams. That's a lot of journaling. Instead of excessive journaling, focusing on gratitude journaling may be more effective. Studies suggest that gratitude journaling once a week can be more effective than writing every day, making it feel more like a beneficial practice rather than a chore. Trapped in negativity, when we only use our journals to write about bad events, we risk getting stuck in a cycle of negativity. This constant focus on negative experiences can make us feel more stressed and anxious. For example, if someone writes every day about their frustrations at work without noting any positive experiences, they might start to see their job and even their life in a consistently negative light. Similarly, dwelling on past mistakes in our journals can keep us worrying about future failures. Imagine someone who keeps revisiting a past failure. They might begin to anticipate more failures, reinforcing negative thinking obsessively. This pattern drains our mental energy and makes it difficult to take positive action or see solutions. To avoid these traps, it's important to balance our journaling by also noting the good things that happen each day. When times are tough, having a positive record reminds us there's more to life than our struggles. It's compelling evidence in our own handwriting that life has its bright spots too. Finding this video insightful? Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Shame-based thinking. In his article, Larry Gates, a renowned leadership and venture coach, shares his experiences with shame-based thinking during his journaling journey. He reflects on how often he chastised himself for missed deadlines, things left unsaid, bad habits, and selfish motivations. This repetitive self-blame reinforced the shame, making it trigger more often. Neuroscientists call this process myelination, where each repetition of thought strengthens neural pathways associated with that thought. However, Leary recognized the danger of perpetuating this harmful cycle and chose to confront it in his journal. When you discover things you don't like about yourself, it's essential to change how you see them so you don't keep feeling bad about yourself. Here are 5 evidence-based tips to try. Observe. Notice when you're overly or repeatedly critical in your journal. If you keep criticizing the same things, you're creating a story. Pay attention to what you're telling yourself. Project. Ask yourself if what you're writing matches the person you want to be. Answering this helps you reframe the critical thoughts and believe in your ability to improve. Rewrite. Write about what you're learning, not just your current struggles. Replace self-criticism with positive truths as if you're already the person you want to become. Then take action based on what you've actually learned and revisit the lessons regularly for sustainable results. Create a worry journal. When overwhelmed, jot down your worries without judgment. Then set the journal aside for at least 24 hours. This pause allows you to gain distance from your thoughts and gain fresh insights when you revisit them. Over time, this practice can help you develop healthier cognitive patterns and reduce anxiety by creating a structured way to process worries. Practice specific gratitude. Instead of generic statements, focus on detailed expressions of gratitude for specific experiences or people in your life. By writing about the little things that make you happy daily, you are training your brain to notice the positive amidst the negative. As you journey through journaling, remember this. Each stroke of the pen or every word you type holds the power to reshape your narrative, illuminate the darkest corner of your minds, and create a path towards personal growth and improvement. Remember, to keep your journal private, use password-protected journaling apps and avoid pitfalls like obsessive negativity and shame-based thinking. With adequate balance and implementation of the helpful strategies we highlighted, your journal becomes a more effective tool for self-reflection, empowerment, and positive transformation. What's the biggest challenge you face when journaling and how do you plan to overcome it? Share your thoughts in the comments below. For more insights on effective journaling, watch 6 journaling techniques that will change your life.